Welcome everyone to week two League Randomizer action. We have Cross Product and Vertex from Team Sunrise Surprise, and we have Metroid Emma. Oh, wait, no, they're from Team Permastock, my team. And we have J Chalk and Metroid MST from Team Permastock. We are about to get underway, but until then, uh, let's get ready to rendo! Oh, and there we go, we are off! <laughs> already, already chat is correcting me. Yes, they are divisions, not teams. <laughs> Yes, yesterday you had the infomercial with the great and late Billy Mays. Today, it is Action, Action, Action Saturday! They are going to bring their full strength. Ooh, Vertex is doing the moonfall. Meanfall. Nice. <laughs> yes, uh, my partner today is supposed to be Elminster, however, there is fears that he uh, had a pair and uh, <laughs> is currently not available. <laughs> Hopefully he, he stops by. Oh, and it's it's the rever it's the reserve tank. Oh, this is a slobber knocker. This is oh, and MST uh, not realizing he has to pick it up. He's got to get it. Yeah, it's a trash tank. <laughs> he does not want this item. The only way to continue is to pick it up so he can go to the ceiling. <laughs> when will Elm appear? Uh, that is a good question. Uh, we're hoping soon, but. Uh... <laughs> Oh. Ooh, some super missiles. Excellent. <laughs> I mean, you, you, if you're going to do Jim Ross, you have to have the slobber knocker. <laughs> Ooh, and power bombs. First power bombs immediately. We do not have to worry about at the at the cathedral. <laughs> Who keeps laughing? Oh, that's probably me. Sorry. So power bombs and super is the start. This is a good item to start for our runners. Seed is free. Um, I don't know the seed. The seed I played in last night against uh, the captain was pretty free, with the uh, speed booster gravity Varia being ex especially early, <laughs> and ammo was everywhere. That was it was a sub hour seed. It could have been a sub fifty seed potentially. Let's see if, uh, Ver okay, Vertex is checking Mama Turtle, oh, or, yeah, not Mama Turtle, the Mama Missile, or Mother Brain Missile, and that was just a missile, so if, uh, if Bomb Teresa is Vanilla Bomb, he has, a uh, two missile super option kill, and MST is doing the meme route, he's going to Big Pink from the backwards way. Meanwhile, uh, Vertex climbing up, cross product, uh, I, I believe everyone else is going to go up. This is quite the meme route from MST, as he finds missiles at the pipe, at the Green Hill Zone. Yes, Mama Brains. <laughs> Let's see what we find at BT. Oh, it's another reserve tank. Oh, no. <laughs> and cross product checking the final missile. Uh, did Vertex check that? No, I think he just went straight to one for his majors. All right. This is uh, still a, a major minor shuffle uh, seed. As is the uh, our league settings. Minors are shuffled within minors. Majors are shuffled within majors. The uh, change to the uh, minor missile or uh, minor major is the super missile or the super missile on the right side of the reserve tank or of the uh, wreck ship. Yeah, I'm uh, still a little tired. 
that has been converted into a major to help give the wreck ship a little bit more incentive as a play. MST skipping the charge beam check. I s he's probably going to come back down. Just a ooh another and cross product picking up that reserve tank an energy tank for MST at the Brinstar Reserve. Meanwhile, J Chalk picking up his energy tank at the Terminator. We wanted a troll seed. I agree, chat. We definitely want a troll seed. However, this could this still has great potential of trolling. We could have to deal with the uh, hell uh, Norfair hell runs. We could still have to do Meridia suitless runs. Shack tool could hold the Varia suit. Get your bless RNG in now. Ooh, space jump for MST. With his Etikun check. This is a this is a nice find. And Vertex seeing that he wants those extra power bombs just for potential to crystal flash in case anything else happens to come up. Vertex is going to head on down and pick up his space shove. I think he'll like it. It's not uh, progression per se, but it does open up a Norfair uh, suitless run. Ooh, Astral Slide giving us a good troll. Wants Varya at X-Ray, grapple at Shack Tool, and space jump behind Ridley. Unfortunately, we've already seen uh, space jump. It is indeed at the Etikoons. And now MST is going to get his uh, charge beam check in. Doesn't have speed booster, so coming back here is is possible. Oh, and it's the third reserve tank at charge beam. Wow! I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> I mean, I know how I feel about that, but that is interesting. So that's two energy tanks and three reserve tanks. move all of our <laughs> items over. Oh, MST is trying to do the hard way to do the wave gate. Vertex is setting up. Uh... Oh, looks like Vertex has it. MST is attempting. He's, go he's gonna do it! He's gonna do it! Oh, charge beam! Charge beam at the wave gate! This is uh, potential setting up to be a potentially free seed. <laughs> and MST not able to get it. A little bit of J-Choke. When he finds out what is back there, he may be up upset with himself. <laughs> oh, Vertex picking up that third reserve tank. <laughs> Vertex, I'm not sure what he's thinking picking it up, but maybe he's thinking uh, Norfair. And he's trying to farm some super missiles so he can uh, <laughs> open a door. <laughs> now MST heading up the red tower. He might make the wreck ship play. Cross product uh, got his side hopper skilled. He's going to be very happy when he gets his gate open. He's trying to get his door set up, though. Having just a little bit of trouble. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. Charge beam is right here at the wave gate. And... 
Wait, MST is saving at the Alpha Power Bomb spot. This is interesting. He's not going to refill the ship. And J Chalk also going up Red Tower. Interesting. Vertex uh, deciding to go down. He's going to check. Uh, he's going to check X Ray. Took a little bit of damage, so his momentum is, is very low. <laughs> he's uh, wisely saving his supers. Oh, energy tank at the X-ray. Okay, so not progression, but setting up for that Norfair Hell Run. Meanwhile, MST making the gamble, going direct ship. Does not have speed boosters, so full clearing it is not an option right now, but... And also did not go down to pick up charge, so Fantoon may be a little bit of an issue. I personally may have gone to the, the ship to refill and safety save. And that's what J Talk looks like he's doing. Um, I did not see J Chalk go down to Etikoons and pick it up. Maybe he did, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, Fantoon, no charge beam, 92 energy, nothing in reserves. I, this uh, this could be a thing. Although he is a runner of Stardust. Uh, Super Metroid Stardust is a ROM hack which has a very small room for Fantoon. He does know how to fight Fantoon. However, you're still looking at 40 damage per hit. And right now, MSD has one hit up safety. Ooh. MSD. Get some of those health drops. Ooh, okay. <laughs> this is scary. Meanwhile, J Chalk going into the gauntlets, trying to trying to find something. Cross product went into X-ray, got his energy tank. He's very he's very ambient about it. And uh, Vertex making the crate play. Ooh, wave beam at the gauntlet. Nice find. <laughs> and J Chalk is gonna keep it. Oh, MST is playing this one so close to the chest. <laughs> oh, Spazer has an energy tank. Wow. Oh no, not like this, MST. He did safety save, but still, this is where the landing site uh, refill might have saved his life. J Chalk continuing to the back end of the gauntlet to clear those two miners, which is an interesting call. And Cross Product also going down to take on our friend the crate. Oh no, Vertex shot that missile just a little too soon. So we got the crate stand up glitch going to prom. See if the Varia suit location has something worthwhile, or is it the fourth trash tank? Subscribe now and find out. And it's the fourth trash tank! Oh, what a slobber knocker! This is such a revelation! What is going on? <laughs> that is the fourth reserve tank <laughs> for Vertex. He has all of them. <laughs> He was hoping not to do some J choke, some J. <laughs> but today, his life has been saved by fairies from the future. <laughs> and there is Craig for Cross Product. He is not. Oh, yeah, he saw it. He does not want it. Cross Product is noping out of that. <laughs> 
Oh, plasma beam for J Chalk. That is a nice find at Kraid. So if he finds, if he goes back and gets charged, and then later finds X-ray, he can microwave our friendly shrimp and snake, and potentially the ghost. Meanwhile, J Chalk finding his way into the right ship. He has two. He has one more energy tank and the reserve over MST. MST now at full health fighting the ghost. Meanwhile, Vertex on his way down. <laughs> Let's see if the high jump boots, if the cross high jump boots has anything. It's another energy tank. Alright, so Hell Runs are definitely in our future. We have to do Zootless Norfair. Unless there's something at the gravity suit or the reserve tank in wrecked ship that has something. <laughs> like Baria, potentially. Speed booster, gravity suit. Anything <laughs> that would allow protection. Meanwhile, J-Chalk also fighting the ghost at the same time as Metroid MST. Oh, he took the extra hits! MST is near death. He's got to watch out for Fantoon's partner. The flames. Wow, Nightbot, what are you doing? You're not. You're supposed to be impartial. <laughs> <laughs> oh, J Chalk, all you've got to be. He's got to be careful. MST is near death. One hit, and he triggers the reserves. Oh, there is, there is the. All right. <laughs> Jag Shock and MST playing this one very close to the chest. Uh, fighting Fantoon under low percent conditions is very tough, and I did not see what was that ice beam. Cross product and J Chalk, or not uh, J Chalk. Uh, cross product and Vertex both uh, exited and entered uh, ice beam. I do not know. I did not catch what was in there. Jack, can you help me out there? <laughs> Fifth reserve and ice beam. <laughs> Alright, looks like uh, the ghost is near death for J Chalk, which is good. There is no J Choke today. We are not going to do the choke hold on J Chalk. Oh no, MST dead again. No! No! <laughs> The nerves might be coming in. <laughs> MST, this time's loading from the, the landing site. Did not want to fight the ghost with no help. Meanwhile, J Chalk, he's gonna be our first. Oh, it was Ice Beam. Was it Ice Beam and Ice Beam? Wow. Where was Ice Beam? Uh, this is a two. It was Ice Beam and Ice Beam. Okay. Oh, and the Varia suit, right side, wreck ship! Oh, what a play by J Chalk. So, MST making the correct play to come up to wreck ship. However, the unfortunate ghost encounters. MST is racing J Chalk, Vertex is racing Cross Product. Cross Product and Vertex from Team Permastuck, my group. J Chalk and MST from Team Sunrise. No, not Sunrise Surprise. Uh, chain Damage. Ghost with the most. Yep. And left side supers has supers. Is this even randomized? Vertex doing his uh, doing his farming, trying to get to the speed booster. Okay, so that means uh, 
Vertex also went to Ice Beam. I don't know if he kept it, though. Uh, Chat, can you help me out here? Did Vertex keep the Ice Beam? Ooh, and Super's at the missile spot in Reserve Tank, which is a nice find for Crossbox. Might pick them up, however... Oh, rip! Cross product, no! Yes, it's the visions. I am a fool. I am actually bad. Energy tank at the speed booster. Wow. This has been a pretty brutal seed today. Like, the items are there, but the depths, the seed is having none of it today. Oh, Spring Ball! And Jay is gonna keep it! Oh no, MSD. He, he enraged the ghost! He is in his final form! He's tagged in his last gasp! He just will not stay down! Oh! The ghost will not stay down. Gotta get that chokehold in on him. Ooh, and there's the high jumps for cross product. The cross boots. <laughs> yes, if you do Suitless Meridia, you do want that spring ball. And finally, the ghost has been defeated. One, two, three. It's down! MST reclaims the title! <laughs> oh crap, I didn't see what was that wave beam. <laughs> what did Vertex pick up, everyone? What was that? Oh, it must be another energy tank. <laughs> MST will be very happy to see his Varius suit at the right side. He's also going to be very upset with himself when he sees what item this is, because he, if not for the deaths, he could have had this a while ago. Oh, and Cross Product is going to go see our friend the Croc. Let's get your Cheaty Myers, your Croc Zs, everything in chat. Croc Zs like, no, 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 do not want, do not want, do not want. Leave me alone. <laughs> Energy tank at the wreck ship reserve. J Talk is very happy to see that. That way he does not need Speed Booster to come back up here. Vertex picking up his well earned high jump boots. Now, it could be that you need to logically do wreck ship to get the Faria suit, get your high jump boots at the Norfair Reserve so you can lava dive and find Gravity Suit in Lower Norfair. Meanwhile, Cross Product having no issue with that charge plasma combo. Poor Croc turned into a pile of bones. And now it is the bowling time. Wow, 23 minute bowling for Jaychok. That is a really good bowling time. MST very happy to find the best item in the game. Spring Brawl! <laughs> and our runners are having puns in the chat. Vertex mentioning that there are trash cans. Cross Products is like, I had reservations about this seed from the from the outset. <laughs> Bring in the memes. <laughs> Energy tank at the at the gravity suit. So other than the Varia, Wreck Ship had nothing. Ooh, and morph bombs at the grapple. Croc may not it looks like Croc is not gonna not gonna work out. Oh, doing his meme dance. Vertex. Vertex. <laughs> Gotta have that slow motion dance. 
<laughs> so Croc is two energy tanks and the bombs. Let's see, Vertex not picking up the energy tank. He feels pretty comfortable at seven. <laughs> oh, it today it is Jim Ross. However, my co my commentator partner, uh, the Lawler, Jerry the King Lawler, he's not here today. He is indisposed of. <laughs> yes, he also has four reserves. <laughs> And today it is the the rando the rando main event. Our runners on the left side are still doing the hell in the cell in actual hell. Our right side they're swimming to victory and they're having a hard time. And J Chalk on his way to the X-ray, just gonna find an energy tank for his troubles. I don't think he's safety saved, so he's he's gonna end up if he picks it up, he'll keep it. MST on his way to bowling, gonna get his second energy tank. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> J Chalk, okay, he is gonna pick up the energy tank. All the energies in North. Cross product on his way to the speed booster. That is another energy tank. <laughs> Everyone has their Jim Ross today. <laughs> Ooh, J Chalk almost got all the way out with his mom taking a little bit of damage it's it's nice to note that the varia suit has doubled the environment environment protection that it originally has in vanilla so spikes that do 60 now do 30 or was it 15 the gravity suit once they find it has no added elemental protection J Chalk gonna check out the uh, his way down to Norfair, just gonna find a whole bunch of energy and plasma beam for his trouble. MST looking for items is only going to find an energy tank for his troubles at the X-ray scope. Oh, he's going to be so disappointed when he gets the smackdown laid on him from the X-ray location. Ooh, Vertex having a little bit of trouble with the Ripper Hellway. The Ripper Way. MST wants an energy tank. He's probably wondering where all these were before when he was fighting the ghost. And cross product taking the reverse way to get back. Which is a little surprising, but uh, I figured he would have taken Croc Escape, but this uh, this works too. He has plenty of energy. I think. The tracker is kind of over the, uh, the HUD, so it's... It's hard to tell what's going on in Jay's and uh, Cross's stream. <laughs> yes, that is true. This is a no disqualification bout. There are no ring outs. He will take all the help he can get.
And Vertex safety at the at the ship. Let's see if he goes to Gauntlet and picks up his wave beam. Oh, cross product wasting no time going into Meridia. Which means actually no uh this is a, a suitless Meridia seed. All other options have been exhausted. Cross setting up with the plasma beam. Uh, Suitless Marinia is a little bit tougher because you can accidentally kill your fish or your crab, and that's obviously very bad if you're trying to climb. <laughs> There's still Lower Norfair. While that is true, uh, Suitless uh, Lower Norfair is never in logic. Oh, but yes, with Boots and Varia, that is in logic. Cross doesn't know that, though. He doesn't know that Wreckshift is likely to play to make. Vertex picking up his wave beam, I think. He's exiting. <laughs> so I think he picked it up. And Plasma for the chalk. So this seed logically is either Suitless Meridia to get movement, which in this case is going to be Speed Booster, Gravity Suit, um, what else could it be? Those are the only two items that would give us movement in uh, for other progression elsewhere. But it looks like it is logically speaking uh, Rex Ship to get your Varia suit to go down to Lower Norfair. Misty having just a little bit of trouble. He got the crate stand up glitch. Oh, gravity suit at Mama Turtle! What a revelation! Gravity suit at Mama Turtle! He has found his ally! Tagging in is the gravity suit! My god, what a match! That also means that the uh, Suitless Meridia is required. <laughs> uh, let's see how comfortable MST, J Chalk, and Vertex are about their Suitless. MST is going to be very happy that he gets his uh, plasma. Oh, why am I lining up that up? That's the wrong one. That's better. <laughs> Good question, Scotty. Oh, wait, you're not Scotty. I see yellow and I see Scotty. I blame Scotty. <laughs> Meanwhile, cross product uh, disposing of a snake. <laughs> Scotty doesn't know. This is true. Oh, and screw attack at... <laughs> at the Batoon tank. This is going to make his lower Norfair trip so much easier to deal with. Which means lower Norfair potentially only has Spazer, Speed Booster, or Grapple. All, their, all other major items have been lo uh, located. Oh, Vertex did pick up his uh, Morph Ball. Excellent. I did not see that. But he paid a friend to our friend, uh, paid a visit to our friend, Croc Z. Now has his Varia suit. Ice beam for J Chalk. Mm -hmm. 
with the high jump boots being located, I wonder if both of our uh, uh, chain damage members are going to go down to Lord Norfair. If they do, they're going to be a little upset. Because there isn't any actual progression in Lord Norfair. Other than grapple, potentially. But grapple, not necessary. MST just throws your platforms in the wrong... Okay, okay, he's got it. He's got it. Oh, if only X-Ray was located, he could have microwaved the shrimp, and the shrimp is down. The shrimp is down for Cross Product. Come on, Space Jump, what do you got? Hopefully something good. Oh, it's the X-ray scope! <laughs> oh, what a troll. He could still microwave the ghost. <laughs> oh, but what a troll. No Red Lobster today. Today's stream, by the way, has been brought to you by Red Lobster. For all of your seafood needs, visit now. This stream not actually sponsored by Red Lobster. Feels bad. <laughs> and let's... Uh, yeah, our runners, uh, with Charge Beam, with Plasma, they really don't need anything else in terms of ammo. So I don't, I don't blame them at all for skipping this. And since, uh, 75% of our runners, I think all of them actually now have Ice Beam, uh, ammo isn't required. They can do Zeb Skip easily. And Cross Product is gonna make the safety save. He's gonna make his left sand pick check, it looks like. And yes, half of our runners still need to go back to the wave gate. <laughs> and Cross Product, he's hoping for Varia, but he's gonna end up finding. Not Varya. Probably an energy tank. Maybe grapple. Maybe speed. Speed might point you in the direction of... ...of the uh, speedway, the water. Seeing that it is only an energy tank, he is proceeding on down. Looks like he's going to try... Is he going to go to Shack Tool? He's gonna go to the Shack Tool. He's gonna go pay a visit to Shack Tool. Okay. Meanwhile, Vertex, he has successfully done his lava dive. He's gonna hope for gravity down here, but we know that it is not here, it's in Meridia. Yeah, Cross Product doesn't know that he's in Gobo. Oh, he is damaging himself for a Crystal Flash kip, uh, clip. Okay. <laughs> this is an interesting play by Cross Product. Vertex gonna check uh, the screw attack. Got the green gate. Uh, you need Varia because there is nothing else that will prevent heat damage in Lower Norfair. Oh, and the Mean Beam Spazer at the screw attack. Vertex noping out of that. He wants nothing to do with it. <laughs> oh, 
and cross product just getting the crystal flash clip like it like it was nothing <laughs> and now it is a coffee break time for cross product just casually <laughs> getting that crystal flash clip memer of the ceilings now if uh, Jaychalk had managed to do his wavegate glitch earlier he would have charge beam for our friend the croc z our, our crocky meyer And Vertex doing worse room. He's gonna climb. With Charge Plasma, not so bad, but... Uh, Cross will know he's in go mode when he finds Varya's suit, which we know is in Wreck's ship. He... We know he's in go mode, but he is in go mode. He just does not know it until he goes to Wreck's ship. And that's probably gonna be the last place he... Well, he's probably gonna go there next, once he's done with his Meridia checks. Unless he wants to do Lower Norfair RBO style with Crystal Flashes. Finding just an energy tank at the Spring Ball. Did not reset. He's gonna. Uh, he's probably gonna go to Plasma Beam and check that before he resets. Let's see, having just a little bit. With our friend the Crocky. <laughs> and Cross Product did not like what he found, taking it out on that helpless shack tool. With that steel chair, just sent him straight to hell. Without Ice Beam, uh, he has to do two charge shots. Uh, three charge hits total. Or actually, no, be... Yeah, three charge hits total to take out the Ninja Pirates. Cross is about to get to the Plasma Beam. We know it will not be progression, although it could be Speed Booster that might point him in the direction of the waterway, which could just be a nice little fetch quest for Cross. Another energy tank. Okay. Let's see if Cross resets. Looks like he's keeping his... Oh, no, he's not resetting. Vertex. Looks like he's farming up health, not ammo. Or Ridley. Three energy tanks uh, is actually kind of a tough sell with Varius for Ridley. So I don't blame him for this. Definitely a risky fight. And MST gonna find his bombs at grab. Ops to pick him up. Nice. And oh, I see what he's doing. <laughs> The forgotten meme way to get to the wrecked ship, where he will find his Varius suit, and then he will be in full go mode. This is an interesting play by Cross. That's why he didn't reset a plasma. Ah, and Ridley is dead for Vertex. That is three bosses down. Or Vertex. But now, it is decision time. He knows he has to go. Oh wow, Speed Booster behind Ridley. What a troll. <laughs> this could potentially point him to the waterway. <laughs> Before he goes to Meridia. Although, the... The item density play is Meridia. We know gravity's at Meridia. So it's likely just Grapple Beam at the waterway. And MST... Yep, he's going right. Making the, making the dive.
Uh, GT code, space time, uh, those are glitches not allowed. I want to say one or both of them have been patched out. I could be mistaken though. Oh, yes, out of bounds obviously also isn't allowed, but. Uh, Murder Beam, I guess, technically might be. However, since it's slower real time, I don't see any runner ever uh, doing that in a race. Uh, yes, with X-ray scope, it is possible to get out of bounds. With some careful timing in the uh, doors, it is possible to get out of bounds. All right, Vertex, let's see. New information, what do we got down here? It is the grapple! And the bombs for J-Chalk. And there is that microwave for a cross product having no issue with the ghost. That is three bosses down. So two of our runners have two bosses, two of our runners have three bosses. Nice gate glitch there from MSD. Having no issues with it. Uh, yes, that is the GT code. Uh, it'll set you to 700 energy. Uh, gives you two reserve tanks, 100 missiles, 20 supers, 20 power bombs, every major item but screw attack. And in fact, if you have screw attack, it takes it away. And now Cross Product is about to realize that he is in go mode. His Barrio suit is right here. Cross product at 46 minutes, almost the 47 minute mark, is our first runner in go mode. Started out as a free seed, but uh, turned out not to be. This one was a uh, this one was an interesting seed. <laughs> Who is our tracker today? Uh, the same guy that's commentating. Who's probably forgotten a few items. And now, Cross Product, since he did wreck ship uh, last, now has to go all the way back down to Lower Norfair to complete his run. And then get all the way back up and finish the game. Ooh, nice Alpha Spark there by Vertex. Um, Cross Product potentially could have, but without the guarantee of more energy tanks in Lore Norfair, we know there is, uh, no, there isn't any energy tanks down there. Uh, Cross Product would have to do probably three Crystal Flashes to be safe to get to Ridley and get back. And Vertex finding that speed booster is taking the bait. He's going to the waterway. Oof. Let's see if it's the final energy tank. Actually, it probably would have to be. I think it has to be the final energy tank, as every other major item has been located. MST checked your power bombs of shame. Finding some missiles of shame. J Chalk did not J choke. Got up, did his lava dive. He is going down to Lower Norfair. Tracking is stellar? Well, thank you. I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> um, If you want to do Stamina Glitch, you need seven. And it is indeed the final energy tank confirmed at the waterway. Well, technically, if you don't want to do stand up, you need three. Three Invarius. If you want to do stand-up glitch, uh, 7 is the easier route, however, you can still do it with fewer. Because you can trick the game into thinking you have less energy than you do, and Mother Brain will just be like, Oh, you're dead. I'm doing my, uh, my... The baby can appear now. And 
and Cross Product did not find Speed Booster, he, so he has to take the Cathedral route back to get to Lower Norfair. Oh, and J Chalk picking up his Meme Beam. <laughs> Deciding which one he wants to keep on. Alright, so Sand of Glitch, a uh, quick review on that. The, um, normally, when you're under a certain amount of energy fighting Mother Brain, the game will not let you stand back up after you've been hit by her Rainbow Beam. It will just... You can start to stand back up, but the game, but Samus is like, I can't do this. I'm out of energy. And she goes back down. However, because of miscalculations of in the, within the game's code itself, Samus can stand back up after being in that energy threshold. And the game will still trigger you as being low enough on health to trigger the baby up here. Uh, when you're in this stand-up state, you can damage Mother Brain further as she sits there. Mother Brain Phase 3 uh, can be nearly killed in this stand-up uh, phase. Only when the final phase actually starts, when you get Hyper Beam, can Mother Brain be signaled to die. She can lose health up to that point, but she won't be dead until the final part of the fight actually starts. And it, it is a tremendous time saver if you have Ice Wave Plasma. Charge Ice Wave Plasma, sorry. And Cross Product wasting no time using his screw attack going all the way through pillars. He's just gonna crush Worst Room, make it an easy room. J Chalk in that same room. You can see the difference between having screw attack, having not screw attack, having gravity suit, not having gravity suit. This is Cross's race to lose. For Team Permastuck, or Division Permastuck. Ooh, and Ridley down for MST. He has three bosses down. JH Talk still checking miners. I wonder what he's looking for. Alright, Vertex did his safety save. He is hoping for the gravity suit to be at the uh, reserve spot. Or or the energy tank spot. We know it's not, it's just an energy tank. Jay doesn't have charge to look for supers. Oh, that's a good point. Uh, Jay down to 11 energy. Ugh. Be careful, Jay. <laughs> 400 energy in the reserves, nice. Here. Now with Speed Booster, we'll see if MST will also take the bait and go for Waterway. Oh, doing a ceiling clip. Very, very nice, MST. Very nice. Cross product, entering Ridley. Gonna destroy Ridley with Charge Ice. Charge Ice Plasma, very nice beam combo. It's not full damage, but Charge Ice Plasma is a very, very good. I believe it is five, six hundred damage per charge shot. J Chalk has forty current missiles. Uh, with the tracker, I can't see how many max he has. It looks like it's also forty. And still looking. Power bombs is not a bad pickup either. You can damage Ridley with power bombs. And MST opting to pick up his grapple. Interesting. And that is the last boss down for Cross Product. Let's see if he checks the. Oh, he's gonna check it. He's probably look. He might be looking for Wave Beat. Decides he wants that speed booster. Don't blame him. That'll help him. Even for the short amount of time, that'll have it. MST also checking miners. I, th I think he's just looking for supers, but... Because he also does not have charge beam. 
Now, if they go back to Wavegate, and since MSC has two items he can check there, he will finally find his, uh, his charge beam, but he'll also find his energy tank. It's if he decides to go back. Oh, Vertex. <laughs> Doing the spark blind, finding an energy tank, saying he does not want it. And Vertex making the realization that Suitless Meridia is in his future. And yes, there are several Super Metroid randomizers. Uh, route Rando, Door Rando, there's a couple of different item randos. Including this one, the Varia randomizer used in this, uh, this league. Confirming that Vertex does, ha does indeed have ice. Yep. Uh, there's there's the uh, the arcade uh, randomizer developed by Total and Leon. There's a project base randomizer. What? There's there's literally a randomizer for everything now. See, there's a route rando as well. Yeah, that's good. That's a good one, uh, Nightwolf. What? I, like, I, I think I know what it is just based on the name. But if it's a project base, be worth checking. Out. Ooh, J Chalk. He. Oh, he does not have enough to crystal flash. He's got to be very, very careful. Oof. Checking for more supers at Power Bombs of Shame. He's going to find a missile. I hope you safety save, J-Chalk. I can't see your map. Vertex making the realization he has to do Suitless Meridia. Uh, is there an endomizer? To my knowledge, no. Uh, project base uh, by itself is not a random. It is like a facelift of the vanilla game, with a lot of uh, movement physics uh, changes, upgrades better than uh oh, better than the original. Although some people would argue against it. And when I say physics changes, uh, most people would immediately turn to redesign. Say like, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh yeah. But uh, Project Base is uh, very fast pace. <laughs> MST confirming again that, that it's a trash tank at the charge beam. But yes, Project Base is a uh, vanilla rehashing of, of the original game. Map stations are taken away, it adds four missiles. So there's famously 104% items in Project Base. MST doing his short charge. He's gonna find an energy tank for his troubles. When he checks Wavegate, he will see that he can finally have charge beam, and and then it's just Suitless Meridian in his future. Short charging, uh, much easier on a CRT. Yes, Project Base does have speed booster changes. It will maintain your momentum uh, when you're jumping. It's much easier to mock ball speed ball. It's a very friendly, uh, very friendly hack to play. Would recommend. All right, MST with the high jumps, getting it this time, gonna get his charge beam. He's gonna be very upset that he missed this earlier. Uh, speedball is just the, the mock ball form. 
Yeah, it's maintaining speed that goes uh, while doing a block ball, so it's just called speed ball. One of a uh, hundred different names that th that the movement can have. Uh, there is a schedule. I would like it, but I would probably get deleted. Thank you, Nightbot. <laughs> Thank you, Canadian Owl. I did not realize that was a command. I probably should have realized. And cross product. Having Ice Beam. Oh, he just grouped him up with bo with bombs. Okay, interesting. All right, Vertex has made it to Mama Turtle. He's finally going to have his gravity suit. He is going to be in full go mode. Oh, cross product getting getting nommed by the Metroids. Perhaps intentionally. <laughs> Looks like intentionally. MST setting up for his suitless run. Oh god, he blocked the ceiling. Okay, he's gotta do the, the full suitless climb. There is a setup you can do where you can maintain your momentum and still get to the first fish. Oh, MST doing the spring ball jump. Okay. And no problem. First pro first part of shootless all done for MST. Now he just has to get to Mama Turtle. Um well, since I'm doing the restream, all of the streams are kind of blurry and artifacty, but that's just because my internet's not that great. So if Cross's stream is having issues, I don't know. MST is setting up for another spring ball jump. And no problem. Meanwhile, J-Chalk. Using the power bombs, almost out of ammo. Looks like Ridley's dead. He's in his hunched position. Yep, Ridley is definitely dead. Cross destroyed the final Ghidorah. On his way to the main event against the Mother Brain. And there's a speed booster. For J Chalk, he might be. He might also take the bait and go to Waterway. <laughs> oh, and the monster, Mother Brain, doesn't even know what hit him. Cross just laying it on the brain. MST about to get his gravity suit. Oh no! <laughs> Come on, MST. You can do it. You can do it. Show us those grapple skills. Okay, you got it. Ooh, blue suit for Vertex. Vertex seeing <laughs> the X-ray scope does not need it. He too has all bosses down. Is gonna proceed back to the Coliseum. Reverse full happy on his way to Turian. He too will face off against the Metroids. Ooh, j -Chalk. Getting... meeting face-to-face -face with the Key Hunters. And Cross Product... 
Did he go for stand up? Well, he, he has charge beam. I don't know why he's not going for stand up here. Is he memeing us? Or is he just legitimately not going for stand up? I couldn't tell. <laughs> oh, the baby is in the ring trying to wake up the unconscious partner, getting knocked down by that just blindsided rainbow beam. What a match, everyone! What a match! <laughs> Product has awakened. He has his weapon and is just relentlessly beating up in the turnbuckle. Just will not leave his. Hey guys, looks like Leno DC'd GG cross product. Oh no, I can hear myself. Okay. Uh, cross product finishes with uh, an official SRL time of one minute or one hour, one minute world record guys. Uh, one hour, seven minutes and 53 seconds. GG. There's Leno. Yeah, I'm back. Internet had a hiccup there. Nice timing for that. And for the reigning champion. <laughs> Did uh, Cross finish? Yes. I hope so. Okay. Just trying to get the stream back up. All right, there we go. So MST with gravity suit in hand. Looks like, uh, okay. All right, back in business. <laughs> GG to cross product. Let's see if we can get cross uh, in here. See if we can get cross in here for an interview. Meanwhile, J Chalk still making his way through the suitless. <laughs> um. Okay. Yep. Vertex tried to do the Zeb skip. 
and Zebs wanted nothing of it. Oh, there's always giggles when I'm involved, Smokey. Always. You gotta have some giggles. All right, MST on his way to Turian, the Great Turian, to face off against the Metroids. Does not have wave beams, so Zebskit may not be in MST's future. We'll have plenty of ammo to get through this episode, not a problem. Oh, and it's the knockout rainbow beam for Vertex. But uh, Vertex is uh, going to do his uh, stand-up. Seven forty game time for Crossbreak. Wow, just a, not even a full second off from RTA. Very accurate time there. Ooh, J Chalk making the play for the left sand pit. Did not check Mama Turtle. This is interesting. He's hoping for some bless RNG, but unfortunately, we know that it is just a tank. <laughs> and 36% collected for cross product. Well done, cross. I don't know if he's gonna join us for an interview or not. So far he hasn't responded. I'm gonna guess probably not. All the baby thumbs and a very quick uh, Mother Brain 3 fight. Ooh, ooh, does Jaychok not know that gravity can't be down here? MST going for the baby skip. Going for it. Oh no! The baby latches on! <laughs> Text gonna finish up. We'll see. Does he save the animals? Does he let them fry? Oh, J Chalk making the gamble. I'm gonna go for Batuan's energy tank and hoping that is the gravity suit. Chalk going to use his uh, mock droid to clip into Batoon. Free every time. And Vertex is done. 113.40 real time. GG to Vertex. Finishing second in his division race. Almost six full minutes behind uh, Crossbox. Still a really close race. Oh, MST got the Zeb skip. Got the backup strats. So, Zeb skip, half skip? And the Rinka was the great guardian, absorbing the hit for the brain. Just stepping into the inner ring and interfering with the match. But still, this is a no pitfall, no disqualification match. 
anything goes. And Jaychok going to visit Dragon. Is he going to grapple escape? Perhaps not knowing he can farm next to the bugs? Oh, catch-up phase for MSD. All right. New tag team champions. They were once enemies, but now they are friends. And there's the baby with the save on MST side. J Chalk. Safely a distance, a safe distance away from all the action, recovering his stamina so we can continue the fight. Does not have charge. And Jake Chalk gonna safety save. Does he not know grapple escape, or is he thinking gravity could be back behind? Uh... Dragon? MSC just taking the rings to the face, almost getting knocked down. Oh yes, that's a good that's a good point, Canadian Isle. That is a way to escape Dragon's room. However, getting out from uh, the precious is another thing. We'll see what he does. Well, looks like J-Chalk is just going to fight uh, the shrimp normally. Can Spring Ball jump out? That is a possibility, I guess. Turning a uh, spring ball. Oh, look, looks like he's uh, setting up for the spring ball. Hello. And now we are joined by Cross Product. GG, good sir. Thank you. What did uh, my first question? What did you think of this seed? It was okay. Could have used wave beam. <laughs> Um, yeah, wave beam. Only one runner. No, no, wait, I take that back. J Chalk and Vertex both found wave beam. It was, uh, oh crap, where was it again? <laughs> I missed it in the credits. I saw Spring Ball was at Rex Ship E Tank, so that would have been mm -hmm. nice to have, but not for going that far out of my way. Well, that's right. It was, uh, it was in the gauntlet. It was in the gauntlet. That's right. <laughs> uh, gauntlet was wave beam. Well, man, I wanted to check it earlier, but I didn't have a way to get it, so I didn't bother. Mm -hmm. Now, I have to wonder, when did you realize that uh, Suitless Meridia was going to be a thing? Because you were one of the first ones to uh, dive Meridia. I 
uh, when I found Gravity Suit at Mama Turtle. That's when I realized it. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, I hadn't been the Gauntlet. Well, I don't think Grav can be in Gauntlet, but uh, I hadn't been to Rex Ship yet. So I was just like, and I hope there's a suit here so I don't have to go to Rex Ship because I hate Rex mm-hmm. Ship. Okay. And then when you did the uh, Forgotten Highway to get, find your Varia suit, how much of a relief was that to find the Varia in the Rex Ship? I mean, it was the only place for it left, so. Unless, True. like. Uh, the, what I didn't want to happen was at the reserve tank and then have to go to Gauntlet for speed booster or something stupid like that. But uh, okay. I, I, okay. I figured uh, a Rex Ship early play might have been better here, but. Varia was the first wreck ship item, and you didn't have to go all the way to bowling. It wasn't as bad. I mm-hmm. actually considered going in the lower Norfair without even picking up Varia. You saw me kind of consider picking up that E tank in uh, yep. the sand pit. I didn't have enough power bombs. Uh, if I had like 30, 35 power bombs, I probably would have just done lower Norfair. Okay. Chat was actually wondering about that, if you were going to do RBO strats and just do crystal flashes in lower Norfair. Yeah. Because, I, uh, as as you discovered, there were no energy tanks down there. It was uh, Grapple <laughs> as it was at Fire... Grapple was at Fire Flea. Spazer was at Screw Attack. Uh, Spazer. Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't have... If I were doing suitless lower Norfair, I wouldn't have even gone to Screw Attack. Well, I might have t- just to get the energy refill. It depends, but uh, you know, if I can, if I have, I I did actually do a suitless lower Norfair in one of my practice runs uh, this week, but I had thirty five power bombs and like ten E tanks and grapple beam already, so it wasn't that big a deal. It was, a, it, it was a safe. It looks like a uh, Lenifus uh, got it out of Dragon. That's good. He um uh, no 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 I'm coming. Oh, I'm sorry, Dra- no, uh, Chalk, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was just I was reading the stream title. Was oh, okay. Racing with us? <laughs> <laughs> I was. GG MST, you are you are the winner of uh, your end of the division race. <laughs> I no, I don't think so. <laughs> Were you not f- facing? No, uh, you're facing vertex, weren't yeah, you? Facing vertex, yeah. Okay, yeah, facing vertex. it was upper lower. Okay, so you came in, you came in not first. <laughs> <laughs> just a, just a few minutes behind vertex. <laughs> Who I, I I'm still... guessing didn't die to Fantoon twice. Uh, no, actually there were quite a few deaths. Uh, Jaychok ended up resetting to Croc. Uh, he died to Fantoon. Uh, once. Uh, you had it was the two deaths of Fantoon, I think. Yep. You see, the strategy is never go wreck ship first, and you won't die to Fantoon. Well, I went meme route first, and oh no, great. <laughs> I tried yep. that once yep. in practice. Never again. <laughs> That's, eh. Yeah. Yeah. Now, well, that... now, now, MST. I have to ask you: when you went back to Wavegate and you saw that Charge Beam was there, and you missed it the first time, what were you? Uh, what I I had to I had to think that it was the you got to be kidding me type feeling. I you... was actually really happy, so I'm like that wasn't gravity. I know it's at least. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, so at that point, I knew everyone else had had to have done. I was hoping you know Vertex kind of got. I kind of was hoping he went the normal thing, did the big criteria Burnstar loop down into Norfair. Um, yep, he uh, cross. Yep, cross product and Vertex both went down. Uh, you and JTOC both went up. Yeah, so go, going up in this instance was the correct choice, but I didn't have the... Um, I, I, I'll say the RNG because th- that third Fantoon fight was so easy. Everything was dropping big health. I was... I, <laughs> was mm-hmm. really Fantoon? <laughs> mm-hmm. So, but, and if you, if you had made any extra stops, you would have had more energy tanks because all of yep. the energy tanks were early. As well you as know, all the reserve tanks, tanks for early. <laughs> yeah, I only collected one of those because I had to to get the state. To <laughs> I was not happy. I am now <laughs> only for one in races. I put the reserve tanks in. Let's listen to all of you never collect reserve tanks. <laughs> well, it was required in this one. It was yeah. required, but it was it's still painful. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was not happy when I saw that, but oh well. <laughs> 
I like to have one or two reserve tanks because it helps set up a crystal flash out of Dragon. Uh, yeah, I can see that. It can also. <laughs> well, if you need to. They're still trash. <laughs> J-Chalk uh, taking his missiles out on that energy tank at Plasma Beam. <laughs> he's not happy with what he's finding. He, uh, J-Chalk, never, w- he never went to Mama Turtle. <laughs> He never went to Mama Turtle. There's two locations. <laughs> no. Nope, he uh, grapple jumped out of Dragon, uh, found his x-ray scope, uh, was not happy with that. <laughs> and hey, is just going to... get out there. <laughs> <I know. laughs> it's perfectly for Suitless. <laughs> um, yeah, that's... I, I guess maybe that's some uh, randomizer knowledge. Um, gravity can't appear back there. Uh, he's looking for charge beam. Okay. Yeah, so I was actually really hoping for charge beam at that wave gate uh, because I wasn't going to go back up to Criteria. Um, I knew gravity wasn't going to be up there, so there's no point. Um, I was actually at the uh, end, it was actually, I was checking actually, it was actually, the last two locations, um, the Batuan and Dragon locations for wave beam, because that's that's the only other thing I wanted, but it wasn't on the way. So, uh, wave beam was actually at the gauntlet. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Whoops. Maybe I should have went there. <laughs> J Chalk and uh, Vertex both got their uh, both got their wave beams. Their hey guys. And yes, my mistake, Canadian Owl. Uh, he did a double spring ball jump, not grapple jump, to get out of Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you can double spring ball jump? I I guess so. I did not know that was a thing. Interesting. Yeah, so the the last time I ever did suitless, obviously in a randomizer race, um, the spring ball thing was not known at the time. I have to say, it makes <laughs> suitless Meridia so much easier. <laughs> <laughs> so. That's been a couple of years then, hasn't it? Since yeah, it's, been, uh... it's been a while. Yes. Yeah. Because this would have been what was it like the two the sixteen uh, winter randomizer race I think it was that is something like that yeah or the tournament and, uh, that that was a uh, interesting to see I <laughs> think the uh, <laughs> other than the the stupid meme rail at the start um. The fan ship play was actually good. Wreck ship uh, yeah. was the correct play. To, that was the correct play to make. Um, you were the only person to do meme route uh, this race. Excuse <laughs> me. No, it's an interesting scene. Um, let's see across it. You mentioned it earlier. Um, were you going to look for any energy tanks in Lower Norfair if you had decided to do the Novaria run? I or would just... have, um, I, I wouldn't have checked screw attack, but it probably would have gone the fire fleas or not, depending on my energy at, at the time. But okay. It makes a big. I guess, having grapple beam makes a big difference, though. So I, I didn't think I was going to do it anyway. Okay. MST, when you checked the uh, fire flea uh, energy tank, uh, I take it you were just looking for uh, wave beam there. I was um, fire flea. I was still looking for gravity charge and wave. Oh. Gravity was my number one concern at that point. Yes, that that just <laughs> I, I just wanted the information to know because I got speed booster after Ridley, so I was like, "Well, that opens up water way. That's not good." <laughs> <laughs> yep. So. And uh, you and J Chalk uh, both took the bait. I think Vertex did too. Uh, looking, looking I, for that gravity at the waterway. I hesitated at the tube because I was like, I I <laughs> thought those Fantoon desks put me behind, so I was like, maybe I should just go for it. You know, the good thing about going down first was that Varia was go mode for me. The bad thing was I ended up doing like Krokemeyer and all the outer Meridian stuff. Yeah. Well, I guess you guys probably did Krokemeyer uh, yeah, too. I did Krokemeyer too. I regret that. <laughs> Croc had bombs. That was uh, 
it, it did get me my last super pack for the run though. It gave me 25, which made Ridley a little bit more comfortable. I went to Bubble Mountain for the first time. I saved, then I went to the reserve area. I was like, all right, reserve area is going to be garbage, and I can reset and go check the other Bubble Mountain stuff. Then it was high jump boots. I'm like, well, I can't reset now, and I don't have enough energy to go into a bat cave. So I guess I'll go do uh, I guess I'll go do Croc next, and then come back Croc when I have more energy. That's right. I forgot you you died on the way to Norfair Reserve the first time uh, across. I forgot about that. Yeah, I was trying to land and do a, a crystal flash, but. Uh... I fell into the lava. I would have died anyway because I had like twenty energy in reserves, so I would. Ooh. I didn't think to empty the menu. I was like, it's probably like a hundred in there. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. So it looks like. Yep, that's uh, two runners uh, doing Forgotten Highway this race. A new record. <laughs> I, I think. Actually, never mind. Forgot highways never a good choice. <laughs> it is if you if you go from plasma straight to wreck ship. It is. Yeah. But that's the only situation, I think. Yeah, I don't. I don't think you ever do that going into Meridia. That just never works out faster. No, definitely not. Because it takes you straight to the tube anyway. Down at the bottom end. I almost died in uh, X-ray hallway too. That was pretty bad. I, I, I took like I, I jumped on the spikes twice, like in the far right of the room. Just as soon as I entered, I was like, "Well, whatever, I'll be fine." And then that that ding, uh, torpedo man dinging me right as I was about to land on the ledge at the top. I was like, "Oh, that's fine. I got iframes." And then they ran out right before I hit the spikes at the bottom, and my reserve tanks went off. I'm like. Okay, this is ridiculous. Hopefully there's an E-tank here. And there was. I think I didn't even check it and then go in. I was just like, whatever this is, I want it. <laughs> oh, it might have been. A, I think there was still one reserve tank at large. <laughs> I I think I only saw three. I don't think I saw four. I'm pretty sure I saw four. One was at... Uh, I know one was at... at Varia. One was at yeah, Varia as well. Varia. This is we the one in the, the beginning. I think one was at Spacer. Maybe not. It might have been an E tank. I saw four. I know I saw four, but I guess I, I picked up two. So I take it J does not have charge. So that's, yeah, he's a little bit short of uh. his here for other <laughs> Check waterway, or he didn't check. Uh, maybe no, he would have had high boots when he went to check waterway. So, and he also would probably have had a wave beam. That's interesting. It is. I I still need to. He is way short on ammo. He needs about twenty <laughs> twenty more super missiles. Yeah, he's. Actually, you know what? He's not. Yeah, he's not quite a lot of missiles. If he refills, yeah. Up, in the, uh... Let's see. Right now, he's got thirty-five, so he would need he twenty-five needs... times three. Yeah, he would need two more missile packs, so he can get the two at the end of Gauntlet and have just enough. Oh, oh no! Wait, that's, that's not true because he would need another thirty for MB one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he needs. It, he needs some more supers for sure. He needs basically 40 more missiles. Although, if he's heading this way, he might check. I think. Uh, Maybe he's going to go to Billy Mays. All right, I'm back. Technical issues are creeping up today. This match has been the ultimate slobber knocker. <laughs> it's okay. We, 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 we were covering for you. Don't worry. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I don't know, I'm not even sure where I got cut off, so uh, we'll just uh, we'll just continue. <laughs> I'm a get going, guys. Thanks for the commentary and restream and tracking. Thanks for the interview. Mm -hmm.
And I'll see you guys next time. See you later, Cross. Good race. Uh, MST, did you have any final thoughts about this uh, seed or your run potentially? Um, I, I need to practice my one E tank phantom strats. <laughs> <laughs> I need to learn how to manipulate RNG like that last fight went. Um, but but no, um, I was actually pretty happy with the route overall. Although that always tends to be mm -hmm. wiser, so that's whatever. Yeah. Just, <laughs> yeah. Take take yeah. a routing guess might work. Yeah, I mean, routing wise, you did pretty good. Uh, you made the correct call going up to wreck ship to get your energy or to get your Barry suit. That is the right call, and uh, it was just the the two deaths, the fan tune. Uh, one, oh yes, that's actually something I wanted to bring up. When you safety saved at the Alpha PBs instead of the landing site the first time, um, yeah. were you just were you just banking on? Uh, I think it was ninety five energy or something like that. Yeah, uh, just to uh... <laughs> with so, so you do you do he deals. His flames, his body deal forty damage per hit. So I knew I had two hits. So yep. if, um, it came down to it. Um, I could get hit twice, preferably while he's in his uh stupid drop flame from the feel feeling from the ceiling phase. <laughs> <laughs> drop flames from his feelings. <laughs> but he's good. But while he's in that phase, and I could farm up, just shoot the the flames. Hopefully, farm up a bunch of big twenties. That was kind of my my thought. Um, that didn't work. <laughs> um, the second time, I was way too confident. I was way too careless going in. Okay. That's kind of okay. Like talk. I was just like blazing everything. <laughs> he is very unhappy with his discovery. <laughs> <laughs> and he's letting it know. <laughs> it's a different situation. I was very happy to find it there. I was... <laughs> No, uh, that 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 doesn't feel great when it's just right there. But but no, um, I I was way too confident the second time. Third time I was a little more careful, and I really shouldn't have been because everything, every flame was dropping a big twenty or uh, a missile drop, and it's just like really, mm -hmm. why couldn't you have given me this the first time? When you, uh, I think you enraged uh, enraged him on your uh, third attempt, yes. which. And I'm like, oh no, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. And then he just farms all the health, and you you survive it very easily. I was kind of surprised about that. That a you enrage Fantoon was that an accident or was that, that intentional? Was an accident. <laughs> I <laughs> okay. miscounted by one missile. I thought it was 18. oh no, and the dreaded super. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's 18. Crap. <laughs> 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 but um, actually, just from playing hacks or whatever. I enrage them sometimes on those just to fool around because it's basically the same fight every time. So mm -hmm. I normally I would have something other than power beam that makes it kind of scary. But the flames yeah. always appear, same pattern, same order. And if you do your shot right, even with power beam, you can destroy all of them in one hit. Yep, so. you can do you can, you can do the sunrise on the flames that way. Uh, I was thinking with your experience with the Stardust that you would have an easier time. <laughs> With Stardust with Fantoon, doppel it, which I kind of did, <laughs> and then miscounted entirely. <laughs> so that was great. Free world record. <laughs> free. <laughs> That's true. It's it's very much not. Uh, I can't tell. Did Jay Chalk uh, forfeit, or is he still trying to finish this out? He's hasn't forfeited. I'm still in the thing. Okay, I got booted out. I got booted out when my internet dropped. Yeah, he's still going. He wants that point. He wants that point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Elminster has appeared, and he apologizes for not showing up. His brain, his pair, told him that it was Captain Duck doing commentary <laughs> for this race today, <laughs> <laughs> and not him. Alcohol Which business. you know that happened. <laughs> he had some very strong pear shine uh, last night, I guess. 
But yeah, no, I, I was actually uh quite quite happy with the the seed. It was the logic wasn't too complicated with it. Um, I th haven't seen another like suitless Meridia. I've seen people do suitless lower Norfair for reasons, uh, but mm -hmm. the Meridia part I hadn't seen yet in one of the randos. So I was kind of happy that showed up. I okay. take it back. It was in a practice seed that I saw. Oh, but, all right. But yeah, just just um, uh, no, let's drop in regard to that. Mama Turtle, yeah, Watch Loon. Those are the only two spots that Gravity can be in. Yep. Because, uh, as mentioned, uh, Left Sand Pit can no longer have the Gravity Suit. I like that change, because Left Sand Pit can be a real pain, even for experienced players, and it's just... It can really aggravate your hand <laughs> if you're playing with a, with a controller, if you're trying to jump up and get to that Gravity Suit in Left Sand Pit. Yes. <laughs> that, that's, that, that's a pain to get to. Although I, since uh, you're you're a keyboard runner, so I guess that wouldn't matter for you as much. I still hate left hand pit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, I, I do. I fair. wish it could appear at Dragon as well, but we'll see. Maybe that change will be made later. Hard mode, lo uh, randomizer logic. <laughs> <laughs> that'll that'll be in the playoffs at the end of the season. Call, that's, calling that's it now. The uh, tournament portion of the league. <laughs> <laughs> and before I get banned by Punk. <laughs> uh, Punk should be safely sleeping. I don't think you'll have to worry about him. <laughs> right, Punk? <laughs> no. But no, that, that, that was fun. So th thanks for the uh, mm -hmm. commentary. And oh, you're welcome. It was a congratulations to Vertex for Winning our match, I, I, I kind of, I came into this one kind of figuring I would lose this one because Vertex is way better than I am. So, <laughs> I was actually a lot. Well, J Chalk, I would be. Yep, yeah. uh, J Chalk was saying he was going to J choke uh, this race away. He thought he, he, he thought he was just going to get absolutely bodied, and it, yes and no in a way because, uh, just because of gravity's location and. He was the last one to do Suitless Meridia. But also no in the sense that uh, he made the right play along with you to go up to Rex Ship and get his Vari suit so you can do your Lava Dive, just you know, just do everything in, in Norfair to get it over with. But uh, Suitless Meridia was the deciding factor uh, in this race today. Yeah. Well, but no, thanks for the uh, commentary. We'll get set up for more races today. Yes. And uh, speaking of next week. and speaking of that, at uh, two o'clock Eastern, which is just a couple of hours from now, we have uh, Magoo and Oh dear, oh my! And then an hour later, we have uh, Super Nin Taylor and Tillamorph uh, taking on Balthazar and Croakemire. Uh Croak rescheduled his match. Uh, hopefully, him and Balthazar are able to get this one in. And then after that, tomorrow, it's Sloters and Dirksu. At 2 o'clock. Did I say that too already? So at, we're just going to finish up uh, on J-Chalk's end. Cross Product has a... Uh, looks like he's got some victory music going. <laughs> and Phase 1 is down for J-Chalk. Um, that is not victory music. I can't tell what game cross product is playing, or who, if he's uh, hosting someone. And actually, now that uh, things have stabilized, let me get the chat back open. There we go. And, uh, ooh, J-Chalk not doing stand-up glitch. Okay, the baby with the save.
I guess the final burning question that is on everyone's mind is, does J-Chalk save the animals? Everyone else has killed the animals. Let's see if J-Chalk can get that notch in his belt. Chat, if you donate and subscribe now, J-Chalk will save the animals, maybe. Never mind, chat wants uh chat wants him dead. <laughs> this is the correct choice. <laughs> oh wait, that's a biased opinion. Uh we will see what J Talk does. <laughs> J doesn't kill Shack Tool. That's true. There was only one person who killed Shack Tool today. And Jay Chuck using, using the murder beam to get in Mother Brain's face and take out the brain. The brain is dead. It is escape time. Now, let's see here. We will have time. If JTalk wants to do an interview, I don't know if uh, we're going to cut stream short, but uh, we will see what JTalk wants to do. Uh, let's see here. Shack Tool has... He's, he doesn't have much in terms of HP. It's only like 700 or so. I'm totally guessing, by the way. Oh, J Chalk. <laughs> the meme. He's going to go visit. Is he going to do it? He's doing it. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing it. The animals, they have been saved. <laughs> J Chalk has betrayed his fellow runners. And just just make sure he does it properly. One more Alcatraz escape. And that is it. J Chalk is done. RTA time of 148.49. GG to J. No, no J Chokes. <laughs> no J Chokes. It's a GG from J. Cats having too much fun. We'll see if he wants to do an interview. 
He said before the race started that he was going to have a lot of fun. It looks like he did have a lot of fun. <laughs> Indeed, of course it was. Three point two, one point three, one point oh. Interesting ammo distribution there. And we are now joined by Jay Chalk. GG, sir. Hello. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How are you? I'm doing good. Uh, you are in this uh, gravity suit. Was indeed at Mama Turtle. I was yeah, yeah. A little. I was a little surprised you didn't go there since you made the effort to go all the way to Batuun and the left sand pit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, um, yeah. I do have a question. Um, do you uh, realize or remember that left sand pit cannot hold uh, gravity? Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> I thought that, 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 that was actually a logic change uh, for the season races that gravity cannot ah, be. Ah, okay, okay, at okay. Left sand pit. So, so Batuun's yes. energy tank. And Mama Turtle were the only two viable locations where gravity can be in Meridian. Uh, okay, okay. See, what, what happened was I thought that um, Wavegate and Pink Burn Star was where gravity was going yep. to be. So I thought, I'm just going to skip Mama Turtle. <laughs> I'm just going to go okay. for it. Um, but the thing is, is I've, I've practiced going in, but I haven't practiced coming out. As you can see, I was a little confused because I didn't, like, um, like literally getting out of Meridia. So I was like, oh, let's just take Forgotten Highway because I didn't know where I was going. Um, okay. <clears throat> Uh, but my uh, Ridley fight was so close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at, uh, you were down your last couple hundred health. You had almost no ammo left, and that was uh, that was a really close fight. Yeah. That was a very clutch fight. Super close. Um, dang. Uh, well, shoot. <laughs> that was fun, but I mean, Mama Turtle. Did uh, checking check tool ever cross your mind? for any items or did you just think that because it's shack tool it can't have anything you want that's why you skipped it no i uh i skipped it mainly because i didn't want to get stuck in the sand okay <laughs> it, haunt, it haunts me yep, yep. yeah that's uh that's always a thing that can happen in suitless meridia so i have a question where was i uh in, in, in after fantoon after Fantoon, you are actually still in it because Rex Ship was obviously the play to make to get the Varius. Yeah, suit. There, mm -hmm. there was nothing else up there. But then, uh, let's see here. It didn't really start to open up until Cross made was the first person to go into Suitless Meridia and check Mama Turtle. When he found a uh, Gravity Suit, he was he was the first one in Go mode. But uh, it was it was a close race up until that point. You were in mm -hmm. it. Yeah, I feel like my my thought process for skipping Wavegate was I, did, I mean I didn't have any supers and I didn't also want to farm. I was like, hmm. <laughs> it's like, do I take the chance and skip this item or what? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But uh, I think when you picked up when you picked up the Spacer at Screw Attack, was Suitless Meridia then in your mind when you when you decided to pick that up? Yeah. Well, no, I didn't mean to pick that up. <laughs> I, uh, I, yeah, I didn't mean to pick that up. Um, but, um, yeah, I think Suitless Meridia was in my mind once I picked up Grapple. Okay. The moment I picked up Grapple, I knew I was going to just Suitless Meridia and finish without, if I, if I didn't find gravity, 
uh but yeah that, that that the whole ridley situation really scared me i'm so happy that i found <laughs> like i was going like all the way up to find ammo and I, I calculated okay i have 30 how many supers did i have no no no, no. i had 10 no 20 so i had 20 so which means i needed 60 regular missiles so i had exactly 60 20 and i'm like oh my gosh okay and i had 15 power bombs and so i think i missed a I got all of my supers. I missed a few of my missiles, and so I finished them off with the, those last few power bombs. But I was just like, if I die here. <laughs> <laughs> but dang, okay. So did did everyone have charge pretty early then? Um, not early. M MST picked up late because he ran out of supers at Wavegate. Uh, Cross mm -hmm. and Vertex, uh, they uh, did. They uh, they didn't have much trouble doing the Wavegate, so they they had charge fairly early, but. Uh, yeah, it was uh, left side, right side for a lot of things. Left side went down first. Uh, you you and uh, MST on the right side, what, you went up first, wreck ship. And the mm -hmm. routes were kind of similar there. And you did gauntlet, and uh, Vertex did gauntlet. Uh, Cross and MST did not do gauntlet. They did not find their way beam. They were very sad. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of impressed that I was able to land the double spring ball jump. <laughs> Uh, I, I, that was clipped, and th that was uh, clipped so hard. <laughs> nice. Yeah, see, I started off with it. I was like, I don't know if I'm going to get this. And then I went to Grapple Escape, and I was like, I can't, I can't do this either right now. So then I went back to the double spring ball jump, and uh, I was very happy that I landed it. <laughs> Shout-outs to uh, Black Elite John for teaching me that one. See, until we saw that, I didn't even know that was a thing. Oh, it's really? Set up for that. Is that any different than doing a normal spring ball jump? Or it's what it's is super. It? So basically how I see it is you are, you are able to chain spring ball jumps infinitely together. Um, it's extremely tight. So you want to do a normal spring ball jump. And then as you are, as you are going to do your normal spring ball jump, you want to be spamming start. And you want to do the spring ball jump as the screen is going into the... Uh, start screen so you want to seed samus okay. basically jump up as the screen's going dark that's got to be tight and then you want to basically de-equip spring ball right and you're going to hit start spam start as fast as possible and then the screen's going to go dark and you're hoping that samus is not at the peak of her jump but then you equip spring ball and as you're coming out of start this is the part that everyone this is the part that messed me up you actually want you want to hit jump again as the screen is black like as it's coming in like you can't even see the screen yet and then you should get that second spring ball jump but theoretically you could string them together infinitely okay it's really that, tight uh, it, it definitely sounds complicated <laughs> yeah <laughs> it <laughs> like is it, like it sounds easy on paper but the actual execution just sounds intense mm -hmm. there's a lot of button mashing and my start button is feeling the heat <laughs> pass double it's pretty much task only okay that's good to know oh man if i would have found charge i wouldn't have had to pick up any of those miners <laughs> if i would have just went to mama turtle <laughs> that was fun though congrats to cross product and metroid and uh vertex that, that was... actually leads me to my next question when you defeated ridley and you saw the speed boost when did you decide that, okay, that's that sucks. I have to go check the waterway now. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, right when I got speed boost, I'm like, hmm, I should probably go and check waterway. And then while I'm there, check the uh, wave gate location because that's two majors. But as I was going up, I'm like, no, let's just, let's just commit and just do all of suitless. Um, would have been much better if I went to Mama Turtle. Mama Turtle always, always holds holds something nice for you. Mm hmm But yeah, that was um interesting decision making on my part. Just a big J choke. <laughs> there were some J chokes in the chat, but they were reasonably uh, called for. They weren't just. Uh... Meming it up. 
Actually, no, I suppose they would be memeing up then, not uh, reasonably called for, because uh, the death. Did I take a death? Actually, no, it was a... No, I reset it. Was it was a reset oh my gosh. Yeah, that's right. It was a... <laughs> I was so mad. <laughs> I was like, Croc, why did you just eat my super? You're supposed to <laughs> not do that. <laughs> I just need <laughs> I just needed that final super. And then and then <laughs> the worst part about it was Croc just decided to just push me all the way back. He didn't even like open his mouth and shoot some 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 goo at me. I could have uh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it was uh, probably the better call to reset then, so you didn't because farming just would have taken too much time. It, mm -hmm. it is a good thing you just had to stay safety safe for that because that might have cost you a lot of time and long. Yeah, time. yeah, that's 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 what I was thinking. I was like, ooh, I kind of came in here with not a lot of ammo. Um, I might as well save a little bit. It's better than getting set back. Yeah, I was, uh, I was, <laughs> I was very excited when I saw Varia at um, Rex Ship Supers. And even more excited when I saw an E tank at um, reserve. <laughs> I knew I didn't have to have speed. But then after that, it kind of just fell apart. I, th I thought I was I, I was on fire, and then it kind of just fell apart. <laughs> yeah, just just imagine if the logic had dictated to you go to wreck ship to get Varia's suit, go all the way down to kill Ridley to get speed booster, and then have to come all the way back up to wreck ship to get gravity suit. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, you know, obviously, that didn't matter for you. You did full suitless. Meridia was not an issue. Yeah, I um, I freaked out at the at the um, at the mother brain fight because I took my health down to three, and I mm -hmm. I freaked out because I thought that we needed that you needed six, but it's only if you don't have Varia. And so I was like, the moment I put my down, I, myself down to three, I was like, no, <laughs> why did I do that? And then I was like, oh. <laughs> right. It's if you don't have Varia that you, you need to make sure you have six. <laughs> I was like, I probably would have forfeited. <laughs> I don't remember when your last safety save was, uh, if you had died there. Yeah, that my, that was? yeah it was at the ship because I refilled. Um, so it, it wouldn't have been that big of a setback, but it would have been a like oh. a, 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 an unavoidable setback. Okay. So I guess I need to learn which path to take on the way back from. Like I can get to and out of Dragon just fine, but then getting out of Meridia, it's like I don't really know what's the best path. So I'm gonna have to look that up real quick. So before uh, before we let you go here, your next match is against uh, D Drag. Uh, what are your Yay. thoughts? Uh, D Drag is very good. Um. But I think it's probably closer than Cross. I think Cross is super good. Cross I'm is a really good player. Yeah, I'm still gonna get bodied, but it's gonna <laughs> be it's gonna be a good time. <laughs> Let's see here. Cross's next match. He's up going up against uh, Rosu. Uh, MST is up next against Hyrule Hero. Interesting. And Vertex. Vertex's next match is against Nightwolf. Ah, so we have some uh, we have some, we have some good matches uh, coming up for next week. Next week, the league. Yeah, for sure. I think D Drag and I are gonna. I think we have it scheduled or are going to be scheduling it today. Um. So yeah. All right. Well, thank Looking you so much for commentating. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the yeah. the views from all you people out there. <laughs> Everyone like and subscribe. Make sure you follow Jay, follow Cross, follow Vertex, follow MST. They all did a good job of giving you a good race today. Anti shoutouts to Shack Tool for giving you an energy tank. <laughs> oh, was it an energy tank? <laughs> it was an energy tank at Shack Tool. Yep. Nice. Cross was. Uh, he took out his frustrations on Shack Tool. He was not happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Follow me if you want. I am not worthy. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, that's going to do it for us. We have another race coming up in 90 minutes. As mentioned before, it's Magoo and Oh Dear. Uh, it will be restreamed here. Uh, don't, not, don't know who's commentating yet, but uh, that'll be coming up in just 90 minutes. But until then, see you next mission.
Yeah, see you later, everybody.